Hi there, it's Holly here from Your Past is a Gift. Okay, now talking about what a wonderful world we live in and what a wonderful time to be alive at the moment. You know, when we've got all these wonderful tools at our fingertips and I'm talking about the internet and everything that comes with that because a lot of people look at it like it's an evil in the world, you know, but if you use it to your advantage, if you use it correctly, you know, in the right way that serves you, so much can be gained, you know, it's just that a lot of people use it to lose themselves in there. You know, they'll spend all day on Facebook or on Instagram or on the social networks, you know, um, posting stuff up, sharing stuff and they're constantly lost in that world that they're staring at this screen all day long and they're not really connecting to anyone. Because to connect, you need to be sitting with the person, you need to be looking at them, you need to be talking to each other. You need to be in the same place, not on a screen. It's not the same. The energy is not the same as when you're actually sitting opposite someone and you're talking to each other and you're looking at each other in each other's eyes. That's communicating, that's connecting. So anyway, what I wanted to share with this video was something that I came across last week because when my daughter was born, the first, I think she was three months old, and I had a gallbladder attack, and it was the most excruciating pain I have ever, ever had to live in my whole life. I've never experienced anything like it. And funny enough, <laughs> when I was in the hospital, the nurses were asking me how I would rate the pain, and I said it was more painful than when I was in labor. And they said, oh, you must have forgotten what that was like. And I'm like, no, I remember what that felt like. <laughs> This is worse, I can tell you. And for someone who's had a severe gallbladder attack, they would back me up 100%. There is nothing as awful as this pain that hits in the middle of your, you know, in the middle of the, it felt like it was in the middle of the chest and I was having a heart attack. It was just horrible. Anyway, so at the time, my little one's three months old and I had my gallbladder taken out because the doctor, as she explained it to me, I understood that the gallbladder was like the appendix. Once it dies and it stops working, it needs to be taken out. And that's what she explained to me. The gallbladder stops working and it needs to be taken out. And now when I look back on it and I read, the more I read about it, I realize that the gallbladder can heal itself like all the other organs. Okay, maybe the appendix is a one-off, you know, that we kind of don't need anymore and that's why it dies and, you know, it has to be taken out. But the gallbladder is not the same. It can be healed and it can keep working. Okay, so uh, there's not a day goes past I don't regret, <laughs> you know, that I couldn't keep my poor gallbladder. Anyway, beside the point. So what's happened is in the last, um, since I was in hospital in October last year and I went through that awful pain once again and I knew it was related but sort of, we couldn't work out what it was because my gallbladder is not there anymore. So, you know, what could be causing the same pain? And so I decided, even though they couldn't find any, I decided that maybe there was a gallbladder, you know, a gallstone that was lodged there, right? So I thought, okay, um, I went online, you know, in the last couple of weeks, because what's happened since I was in hospital in October, I can't sleep on my right side. There's a dull ache there, and if I sleep on that side, the pain just becomes more and more intense. Like you've got this huge bruise and someone's pressing on it but it gets more and more, like very painful. So I thought, oh, this is just ridiculous, right? Because the doctors did all the tests and couldn't find anything. And I'm like, I'm still in pain. It's not excruciating pain that I need to go to hospital, but I'm uncomfortable. <clears throat> so I went online and I looked it up and I thought, okay, what could it be? You know, say it's a gallstone and they couldn't find it and it's stuck there. So I looked up all the different natural treatments that you can do for um, removing gallstones. And I started last, what was it, the Sunday, I thought, because my little one was having a birthday party on this Sunday and I didn't want it to overlap with that. So I started the Sunday before and it was the six days of drinking this apple juice and blah, blah. And then on the Friday, I was having the detox, right? It's supposed to clean it all out. And I thought, what have I got to lose, right? The worst that can happen is I don't feel uncomfortable anymore. I don't feel pain anymore. I thought, well, that's a bonus, right? So. I did it, I followed all the steps, right, online of what they gave you. And on Friday I did the, te the detox, which I honestly thought I wasn't gonna be able to get through because the bit where you've gotta do the olive oil and the lemon juice, 
Ugh. Right, it just, I've done that before. When I had my first gallbladder attack, my naturopath put me on it. But she had me do it for seven days straight, first thing in the morning. By the third or fourth morning, I was gagging. I was finding it really hard to keep this stuff down. So I have that, unfortunately, that memory now, that when I mix the olive oil and the lemon juice and I have to drink that quickly, I start gagging like I can't, I can't keep it down. I'm not gonna be able to do this, I thought to myself. And then I thought, I've already spent a whole week doing this detox. <laughs> so I've got to do it now, right? I'm in it, just, just write it out. So I followed all the instructions. I did exactly what they said to do. And then the next day, of course, you get the runs, right? You get diarrhea. So actually, <laughs> what they didn't tell you was that you get diarrhea as soon as you have the Epsom salts, which was, I think, the first lot is at six o'clock. By seven o'clock that night, I had the runs, right? I couldn't stop going to the bathroom. And at 10 o'clock, you're supposed to have the olive oil and the lemon juice mix, right? Drink it all down. I don't even want to remember what it tasted like because it's gross. But they say that once you have that, you've got to lie down for 20 minutes on that side, right? Where, on the right side where my saw was. But I couldn't get off the toilet. So I'm thinking, well, how am I supposed to lie on my side? <laughs> and I can't stop going to the toilet. I can, I can only do one at a time. So anyway, eventually I managed to lie down. The runs stopped for the night, right? I was lucky it gave me enough. Um, and I think by about 12 o'clock, I fell asleep until the next morning. Now, the next morning, of course, as soon as I got up, back to the bathroom again, la di da di da And then I think it was about, where were we? One o'clock in the afternoon. I was just trying to remember the time of when I went to the bathroom that I actually saw the stones come out. They were sitting on the top, you know, of, of the paper. And I thought, wow, this stuff actually works. <laughs> so, you know, for all of you out there that think that everything on the internet is rubbish, that everything is false, that everyone's trying to, you know, sell you something or, or deceive you in some way. Yeah, there might be a lot of sites like that. There might be, you know? But like I always say, there's always those trying to do good. There's always those trying to help as well, you know? So you can't spend your whole life not trusting that what you're looking for, the answers that you need are not there, that someone hasn't been kind enough to share something that's worked for them, you know? So for any of you out there you're struggling with stones and you can feel there's this niggling pain, you know, in your right side um, under the ribs where the gallbladder usually sits. Um, if you've had the gallbladder removed, it doesn't matter. Honestly, that day when I saw the stones come out, I felt so much better already, you know? And it's been, well, since I've had my gallbladder out, I haven't been able to sleep on that side comfortably. And it was the first night after the stones came out that I slept on that side and I didn't feel any discomfort. I was just amazed. So, you know, there are a lot of good people out there. There are, you know? So learn to look for that. Learn to look for it because we're always looking at the negative. We're always looking at the bad, you know, the people that are trying to deceive you, that are trying to take away from you but learn to look at the good because there are so many good people out there. Really, there are, I promise. Anyway, if you are having that sort of problem, I'll put the links below because there were two websites that I found very similar, um, different, pro a little bit different in the process for one of them because it said you had to still drink the Epsom salts in the morning. I might've got more out if I did that, but I had lessons in the morning so I didn't really want to keep having the runs <laughs> the following morning. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I'll put the links in and give it a try. You know, if it doesn't work the first time, maybe give it a second try, but it may not work for everybody. It just worked for me. And I wished I'd have done it five years ago and I didn't have to lose my poor gallbladder. All right, my darlings. I love you guys. Remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the messages. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.